By the numbers, the October real estate market is still very much deep into a seller's market. However, some sellers are not getting this memo and things have eased up for buyers. Hi, I'm Francine Viola, Realtor in Olympia, Washington. And as we look at the stats for October, we clearly see that there is a record number of new listings coming to the market, which is great news for buyers. October had a record-breaking 546 new listings, but some sellers and listing agents believe the market is shifting or softening. This couldn't be further from the truth, but because of this misunderstanding, we are seeing trends easing for buyers. But let's go over a few stats first, and then I'll get into the trends buyers and sellers are seeing. October had record sales, 598 closed sales for the month, and that is in part because we also had a high amount of new listings come to the market. This just tells you that the demand is there. If you add listings, the buyers are there to snap them up. For the last seven years, Thurston County has been in a seller's market. Again, although we saw an uptick in listings, because of the high demand, we are still at 0.48 months supply or about 14 and a half days of supply. Considering a balanced market starts at four months of supply, the fact that we have about two weeks of supply shows just how much of a seller's market we are in. This lack of supply drives up prices. Right now, the trailing 12-month median sales price is $445,024. That is up 19.3% from last October. For the month of October, 46% of the home sales had multiple offers. The average amount over the asking price was 3.2%. Buyers were still competing, but the average number of offers per sale was just two offers. And the average days on market for price right homes was seven days. With all of these stats, it's interesting to me to see how buyers and sellers are behaving and their emotional stats. The good news for buyers is the fall market has eased up based on this emotional factor. Buyers are seeing lower sales to list price ratios, Back in the spring, the average sales to list price was 8.5% over the asking price. For October, it's 3.2%. This could be a combination of the fact that sellers are pricing a little higher, closer to market value, and the fact that sellers are receiving fewer offers. Remember when I talked excessively about buyers needing to add a 22 AD? The secret sauce that I'm seeing winning buyers do are, they have a strong high dollar amount to cover a potential low appraisal and they provide proof of those funds with their offer. This was the form where buyers would agree to bring cash to cover a potential low appraisal. We are seeing fewer of these, but also buyers are offering not as high over the asking price. The other good trend we are seeing is fewer buyers are waiving their home inspections. We went through the spring and summer where buyers were waiving as many contingencies as possible, including the home inspection. For sellers, I feel they may have been given the wrong message about the market. A while back, I did a video about bad headlines and how misleading they were. And I think they are still messing with sellers today. The numbers state the case that the seller's market remains strong and will continue. Right now, buyers outnumber sellers more than two to one, and prices are continuing to go up as a result. Home sales are at an all-time high. Buyers are coming to Thurston County for relative affordability compared to our neighboring counties along I-5. The number of homes actively for sale remain historically low. Although homes coming to the market have risen to a 13-year high, this is not enough to change the market conditions. Every buyer and seller has unique situations and we need to chat about what your options are in this market. That's why I'm here. So call me if you're thinking of making a move. I'd like to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving. I've had a challenging time recently. However, I'm grateful for my family and my extended Cowell Banker family who have lifted me and supported me through these dark few months. But better times are always ahead. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.